Stephanie Kwame from the CAD Academy. We are going to take a look at the exercises that go along with your tutorials. You should have already completed Introduction to SolidWorks. You should have already completed the Axis Drawing. And now, as we go down, we have some exercises. And uh, we, using what we have learned, we need to create four little projects. So basically, I call it plan your work and work your plan. So I'm going to help you by doing one an example. OK, <clears throat> we're going to do this one together first. This one has a diameter of 100, has a distance of four, 140, then a couple of cuts. So I think that we should have no problem doing that one w uh, with what we've learned. But let's go play and see what problems we might come up with or what questions we might have. So let's go ahead and get into SolidWorks. And uh, if we go to this piece of paper, we could start and make a part. And then we would have to change it to metric under options. But if you did how to make a template, then you're going to have much more fun, because all you have to do is go to Advanced then and do your metric template. And then it changes for you. OK, what we're going to do is start with sketching, because we always start with the sketch. We want to start with the circle. And I'm going to tell it the front plane. I'm going to start this in the front plane. I am going to rotate my, geom my screen into the front plane. And this is a um, coordinates. And you might know of it as a user coordinate system or uh, an axis. So when I get here and I know that I get that orange, I know that that is right on that corner. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a circle here. Doesn't matter what size does it, because we are going to use Smart Dimension and define the size. Smart Dimension is so great, because it, it knows uh, what we're picking. I'm going to do 100, because that was the uh, size. And we know we did a diameter, because there's a diameter mark. So everything looks great. Let's say OK. Now let's go over to Features and working our plan. We decided we were going to extrude that. And the extrusion would be a value of 140. So we're going to go over here and do 140 and give us the big OK. I'm going to do F key, just tap the F key to fit so that it looks nice and centered. Then we learned about selecting a surface. And that's the surface we want to work from. So we select that. Then we go ahead and go into Sketch. We're going to select a circle. And as we come in here, then that axis shows up, which is really great. So I don't have to worry about finding the center point. SolidWorks gives you so much good feedback as you draw. I'm going to Smart Dimension that. And we'll take this, take this out here. And that should be a diameter of 40. So we'll change that to 40. And OK that. And uh, I am not sure that I was right. A matter of fact, I can't read very well tonight, I guess. So let's double click on that and fix it. We want that. So did you notice you can just fix it by double clicking or clicking on um, the, uh, the value? And now we've got it correct. So I'm going to say, OK. That was an oopsie. OK, let's go into Features now. And what we want to do is we want to do our first cut. So we'll go to Extruded Cut. And looking very carefully, I can see that I want to go, this is 40. I want to go a depth of 40. So I go ahead and say 40 and do the green OK. We've made our first cut. It looks very nice. Now we're going to select the surface again, that surface. And we're going to go back to sketch. And one thing that's really fun is you're going to think that I'm going to have trouble finding that center point. But no, because I've got that axis, everything works really well for me. OK, we're uh, going to then quit uh, Smart Dimension. And looking at the drawing that we started from, I see that I want this to be a diameter of 20. So we put in 20. Do the green check OK. And we are just about done. Let's go in and to Features and do our second cut. So the second cut has a distance of 120. So we're going to change this to 120. OK that. And we have completed our very our first exercise. So now the challenge is to go and complete all of the rest of the exercises 
that belong to uh, Unit 1 and then um, we'll go on to Unit 2. I hope that you enjoy uh, these exercises and have fun because SolidWorks is a great product to work with. It does, um, uh, it's easy to learn and you go from uh, a simple project like we're doing now to wonderful things like finite element analysis or ana analyzing parts. So enjoy and thank you for listening.